Good morning, everyone. We're here in the newsroom with the great Brian Cheely, a little Tech Tuesday for you. And if you are a music lover, everybody, you, you want to hear this. It's called Twitter Music. And introduce us to this new little concept. Yeah, so we all know Twitter as like the popular social network where everybody yeah. can go and, you know, 140 characters talk about whatever they're eating for breakfast or whatever. But Twitter has basically come out with a new app, a new service. Okay. They found that a lot of uh, popular bands are all on Twitter. They all have a Twitter presence. So what they've decided to do is create an app uh, where you can go and discover the kind of music that's popular. Um, you can What's discover trending? Yeah, you can discover <laughs> the music that uh, is coming up, like emerging music. Pe bands maybe you've never heard of before, but are becoming more and more popular. Very cool. Um, you can get suggestions about music that maybe you should listen to uh, based on other things that you like, other things that you've listened to. And then you can even see what music your friends are listening to, which is also very cool. There's a social aspect to it. Nice. Where, you know, if your friends are listening to a bunch of good music, uh, maybe you can go on there and, and listen to those things as well. So the cool thing is uh, it, it's integrated, fully integrated with RDO and Spotify. Okay. So if you have an RDO or a Spotify account, you can actually write in here. You can listen to all of the, the music just right there from from your phone. So it's pretty a pretty great way to go and discover music. Um, there's also a way for you to be able to buy songs right from in there through iTunes. Um, definitely a cool app. You sign in with your uh, with your Twitter account, and you can tweet. You know what you're listening to. You can uh, share the music that you enjoy with your friends. So it's kind of this social aspect around music. And now, is there a cost to this? No, no. Is this is actually this is actually free. Um, and, wow. and plus, the cool thing is you can use this app even if you don't have a Twitter account. So you that can go cool. and discover the popular music, emerging music, and those kinds of things, even if you don't have a, a Twitter account, which is definitely cool. All right, there are rumors out there that iTunes will become a lot like Pandora. Exactly. So there's Apple is is rumored to be launching what they're calling the iRadio service. Ooh. Not really sure if that's going to be the name at the end of the day, but apparently they've uh, catchy, si Brian. they've signed some uh, deals with Universal Music. They've also signed uh, or they're working on deals with Warner and Sony Music. This is basically going to be an on-demand music streaming service. iTunes is one of the hugest music libraries. Around and uh, basically they'll they'll allow you to stream and listen to the music that you'd like to listen to and then have an option to purchase oh, it with hopes of purchasing yeah with hopes of purchasing those songs which which could be very cool I mean yeah. RDO Spotify Pandora these kinds of services have become really really popular in oh, recent, yeah. in recent years and so hopefully um, you know hopefully the, Apple will bring these kinds of services to their device maybe a subscription service maybe not maybe you just listen to it like Pandora for free yeah. uh, but you know have Advertisements mixed in. Have the option of buying it. it. Yeah, definitely. All right, we've got 30 seconds, and uh, let's talk about these headphones here. They, they, they're pretty expensive, but they're, you're four, they're okay, pretty incredible. They're 400 bucks, so that, that'll <laughs> yeah. probably be a big uh, game changer Ooh. for a lot of people. But these are the Zik Parrot headphones. The Zik Parrot these headphones. These things are crazy. Basically, they're active noise canceling headphones. They connect to your phone via Bluetooth. Um, if you take them off, it pauses the music. Wow. All you have to do is tap, uh, gesture on the side of them, and it'll turn up the volume, turn down the volume. Uh, they're really stylish, um, and they're available in the Apple Store and Brookstone and all kinds of retailers right now. Is that the old center for the uh, Phoenix Suns right there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not, but uh, the headphones are definitely cool. All right. Well, that's very cool stuff, and Bluetooth, and uh, hopefully you don't look at that, look like that guy yeah. in the airport. Yeah, and definitely listening to your not great tunes. jamming. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for joining us. And we've got more information on our website, cbs5az.com. We'll be back right after this.